Back here at home, there's some good news for our first responders in Providence. Thousands of those N95 masks are now on their way to the city. The masks and other important equipment will go straight to those on the front lines. Brandon Truitt is live in Providence this morning with how much gear is on the way, Brandon? Hey, Danielle, good morning. Well, it is, in fact, good news. The mayor's office telling us 34,000 masks are on their way here. They have been purchased by the city in partnership with the Providence Firefighters Union. In fact, some of them have already arrived. The city saying that about 8,000 masks have already been passed out. The others are, in fact, on the way. This PPP. PPE rather is going straight to first responders who are interacting with constituents. Right now, the city says that every firefighter wears a mask and gloves when responding to calls. The public safety commissioner telling us that COVID-19 related calls are being kept to the same two rescue squads, saying that if they need another, well, they'll add it to the mix. The city says every Providence Fire Department employee is required to have their temperature taken upon arriving with firefighters themselves having an additional temperature check when they leave. Now, the firefighters union says pulling this off was a matter of teamwork. Mayor Jorge Alorza saying that the health and well-being of the people of Providence is a priority and says that it starts with the safety of frontline responders, adding, quote, we have closely been monitoring our staff needs during this time, and I'm glad that we are able to provide these critical employees with the tools necessary to protect themselves and others during this time. Now, this all comes as the governor just yesterday announced that starting on Saturday, all employees will be required to wear masks while at work, with the exception of those who cannot do their work while wearing one. We have more information on that latest order from the governor on our website, WPRI.com. Live in Providence, Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.